Welcome to Chamber Talk. I'm excited today to be at Dublin Chevrolet Nissan with my good buddy Lot Wilford. Good Lott, to see you, thank Heath. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Hey, it's a great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County, and it's a great day for business every day here on the Chevrolet side as well as the Nissan side. Um, you guys do a great job up here providing vehicles. You've been in this community for quite a while, and Locke, I think you have done an amazing job here. Um, talk to me just a little bit about the amount of time that you've been here and a little bit of the changes and transformation and things you've seen here. I will. It's, it's been a, a great journey for us. Our journey started in 2003 when we moved here. The foundation was laid by Louis Livingston. He, uh, in the 1950s, early 1950s, him and his wife Evelyn started Dublin Auto Sales and later on became Cadillac uh, GMC Nissan and uh, this is what this has grown into with the foundation that was loaned by, uh, uh, made by him. In 2008 when we had a downturn in the economy uh, I refused to participate in that recession and we worked hard it grew the dealership from selling around 50 cars to over 185. Wow. We sell now on an average 125, 150 every month. And uh, this community has been real good to us. When you look at the steeples and the mortar, the downtown renovations that are going on, there's no place like Dublin. Matter of fact, I always say there's no place like this place anywhere near this place, so this must be the place. This and that's why I like <laughs> spending my dollars here in Dublin, matter of fact, my, my goal is to try to do business with people that are a part of our chamber. And uh, we Willie always said a dollar spent goes around seven times. And so we've been blessed here in Dublin with our customers uh, that have faithfully traded with us to have their car serviced here. And, and so it, it's, been a, it's been a good journey for me. I mean, I'm one of 16 children. There's 12 girls, there's four of us boys. Wow. And uh, I'm number 11. Mother waited. 11 children to have her favorite child, and I was glad she did. <laughs> Absolutely. Locke, you mentioned the community and partners and, and things like that and doing business with community people. Um, you guys here are, are, are a great example, though, of what it takes of a business giving back to the community, and you guys do a wonderful job. I know I, I see in the paper and just hearing around town, going to different events, I see the brand and the logos and, and the name with the sponsorships. Share with me, if you would, just a little bit about some of the many different things that you guys do to give back and support the community. Well, in a community like Dublin, you have to be very supportive of what goes on here. And we've been a big supporter. Our key sponsor is the United Way. And uh, we, every year we raise anywhere from ten to $12,000 for the United Way that's so vital to our community and all the agencies that support. I'm on the board with the Easter Seals and how important it is to us and they do a great job out there and uh, we're, we're, we're proud to be a part of it. I served on your board for six Absolutely. years and so it was a pleasure working with you to watch the community grow the way it's grown and the improvements that's been made and I've never been ashamed of being a part of what you've done and what our community is doing here in Dublin. Well, and Locke, I know you guys' uh, recreation department. Talk to me a little bit about that. We did. We have every year we have a, a joint venture with Chevrolet that we give uh, baseball equipment and equipment out to Southern Pines, and a thousand dollars every year. It's our way of supporting. But we we're glad to be a part of that. We're glad to see the growth that's going on out there. It's busy out there during the softball seasons and. They got going on out there. Well, a lot of the programming and things they do and they do out there are, are very uh, viable, and important to our community for our youth to, to keep them busy and, and have activities for the summer, etc. But I want to go back just a minute because you 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 you're still leaving one important thing out that you guys do. And but I got to ask you about that favorite verse that you <laughs> always talk about in the Bible. Which what is it again? Well, it's it it's uh, the, my favorite verse is He that tooteth not his own horn the same shall not be tooted, and that's found in the book of Deuteronomy, if you can't find it. But I believe that that's what we got to do. We, you know, we're the best kept secret. We need to let everybody know what we are here in Dublin. It's a great place to live. Uh, there's family activities. What's going on in our downtown is phenomenal, and uh, we appreciate uh, the efforts of everybody in this city that supports 
the efforts that we have. Well, and I wanted to go back, and, like I said, and mention to you because something you guys, so I'm going to toot the horn for you okay. if I can. Um, but since I've been here, and I know for many years before, you guys even provide a car for the chamber um, and, and what a blessing that is to us and a help and we really, really appreciate. But not only the, the vehicle that you guys provide, whether it's been annual dinners, golf tournaments, business academies, just, just whatever it is, you guys are always there for us and we appreciate that. We do and we're glad to be able to provide you with a vehicle that you can drive and not be ashamed of. You don't have to worry about the repairs or the maintenance on the car. The only thing you have to do is buy your gas and and of course you're in a vehicle that gets 38 miles to a gallon that all really, is a, a, really a good, good car so we're we're glad to be a part of uh, the chamber providing and helping our city let me ask you one more thing real quick Glock, because i and i think now that i'm thinking about it sitting here we could we could just talk and talk and talk about the things that you guys do here as for the community um, and you individually um, but i want to get into some after our commercial break we'll talk about some of the vehicles here but you have a, a quite a fleet of vehicles yourself and i know from time to time you've even helped out folks individuals in the community i know uh, another chamber chair uh, mr jeff cannon you were involved with some things with his family with some of your vehicles not long ago share with me just a little bit about some of that yeah that's the probably the disadvantage or maybe an advantage of being working here you see so many cars and you want them all you know <laughs> and I, I i was privileged to buy a 1949 chevy convertible in mint condition and and uh, it's just a beautiful vehicle i mean i'm telling you what and jeff when his daughter got married out there uh we went out there and and rode him from the uh, church to the country club and uh, had pictures made in it and then another couple here got married and we did the same thing for them rode them down to the ice house and went down to the theater and had pictures made and i have a of course i have an 86 uh, chevy red pickup truck i have a 58 uh, red chevy pickup truck i have an 81 blue chevy pickup truck and i have a 2004 uh, ssr and it's just a it's a hard top convertible and of course, my crowning possession is my 2018 Chevy convertible Corvette. And uh, I drove it Sunday all the way to Augusta and back, and it's, it's just a sweet driving machine. So I, I believe in my product, and I like driving those Chevys old and new. I, I could not agree with you more. I own a couple myself, and uh, not quite the collection that you have, but, <laughs> but I do enjoy those, those vehicles a lot. Let's take a, a quick commercial break, and uh, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Welcome back, Locke, again. Thank you for, for taking time out today to sit with me a few minutes. I know you guys are, are busy. I, I saw folks when I came in outside on the lot and some folks waiting to have cars serviced. Um, and, and I think one of the things maybe we need to start with talking about here, I know recently I came by, they were doing some work on the sign out out front, but uh, state-of-the-art uh, facility here, top-of-the-line vehicles, and, and I also know personally, if you don't have a vehicle on the lot, you can get it. So talk to me just a little bit about some of the things you guys have done here to not only stay current, but, but maybe even a step ahead. Yeah, it's, um, it's been a, a great journey for us. In 2012, we were able to uh, buy this property here on the Chevy side and build the state-of-the-art building here for Chevy Buick GMC. And uh, it, was, it was a good journey. Dublin Construction did the construction on the building and, and they did a fine job. And then once we finished that and had the grand opening, we went over next door, tore the whole showroom down over there in the office complex and 
build a new showroom and office complex over there. So it gives us the opportunity to add to what Dublin has become. I mean, anybody that comes to Dublin, they see the movement that's going on. People making either new investments or remodeling what they have. And, and we've been able to do that here. We invested several million dollars to uh, you know, put all this together. And so we're able to service our, our community. So people are surprised when they come here to see two brand new uh, buildings, the Chevy building, the Nissan building. So it's a good way to serve the community. And I think it's something the community can be proud Absolutely. of. Absolutely. And, and when you see these buildings, it, it's the same type of infrastructure that you would see in a big city. That's right. So it, it's a treasure to have that here. Now, Locke, you guys have, have two different sides here. A lot of vehicles um, and, and uh, just, I think, something for everyone. So I want to start out um, because something else you guys are helping us with. I don't even know if you knew this or not. we got a golf tournament coming up, and, and we're going to use a truck, one of your trucks. And you guys have a, a variety here from whether the young person with the sporty looking. Matter of fact, I saw you riding around one day in one of those big high-lifted trucks. But talk to me a little bit about the Chevy lineup and, and the trucks. Well, we have a full lineup. Obviously, the, the Chevy Tahoe is second to none. You, that vehicle is a great roomy vehicle if you want a good uh, vehicle to drive around, especially ladies that like the room to mm -hmm. go to soccer games and baseball games or swimming meets. they got plenty of room to take the whole crowd. And it's uh, by far just a great vehicle. And um, I started out in 84 selling Chevys in Daytona Beach at our Chevy store down there, John Hall Chevrolet. And, and I've just been a diehard Chevy fan. We've sold a lot of them. Our Silverado, no doubt, is our best seller. We sell okay. so many Silverado trucks in this community. And you just can't get a better truck. I know I'm biased, but that truck is by far one of the best uh, trucks on the highway. I probably own four or five of them myself through, yep. throughout the year. So um, so that's more a little bit the, the top maybe one or two on the, the truck side. Yes, well, but you mentioned something else that, that's very important today in travel and, and people and sometimes you're not just bringing the kids but you may be bringing the team and you, you also can accommodate those folks with some larger vehicles. Exactly right. If you go with the Suburban you got a, you got a lot more room in it and uh, traveling with them. And, and what we like about them is Chevrolet has spent so much money on the safety features to, where a car, uh, a vehicle is safe out there on the highway. So you got room and safety and you get economy. Even, even a Corvette, I drive that Corvette of mine and we sell Corvettes here and there. They're just a top of the line sports car. Well, now, and you jumped ahead of me a little bit. That was gonna be my next okay. question was <laughs> the sports car side of things. And, and I know you do have the Corvette. You surprised me this morning when you told me 31 miles to a gallon. That's right. Um, because I have a, a Camaro that I purchased here and I didn't purchase it for gas mileage purposes. We, we Not talked that about one. <laughs> eight, eight miles to a gallon, I believe. Right. Um, but you also have the, the Camaro, the Corvette, and so a sports car enthusiast. Uh, talk about those cars. Just well, those cars are just you know phenomenal. You drive that Corvette, you just it's. I remember when they first came out with the model change. I flew out to Vegas at Ron Fellow's racetrack out there and drove that Corvette on the racetrack, and and the professional driver drove rode me in it and they put me in the passenger side and put a helmet on me and and uh, strapped me in. And I had to hold on to that guy. You found out what a Corvette can do, and of course, like your Camaro, you just that thing will scream, you know. No wonder you don't get but eight miles to the gallon. It sucks in the gas, but it's it's a fun ride, a lot of fun to drive. And so those sports cars are just nice vehicles. And, and you do have some, if someone's looking for a, a little more modest, something to drive around, convertible, 22, 24 maybe mile per hour. Exactly range, right. V6s, that, yeah. but still plenty of horsepower. Plenty of horsepower. That Camaro convertible is a great vehicle to drive and you'll get good gas mileage with it. Okay, so let's move over to the other side of the lot. And again, another one of my favorite vehicles. Um, we, we talked earlier about the fact you guys provide a, a, a Nissan Altima for the chamber. Um, actually, the one that I drove the first two years I was here, I came back and, and purchased that car from you for that sole reason. Safety, a good ride, and almost 38 miles to a gallon in the one that I have at home. So let's talk a little bit about the Nissan and, and what some of the best sellers are over there. Well, on, on Nissan side, of course, you got the Armada. It's also a, a full-size SUV. It gives you plenty of room. And all the bells and whistles. Uh, and all the bells and whistles. My daughter-in-law, she lives in Leesburg. She's a doctor down there. And she 
course, buys all her cars from Papa Locke. Mm -hmm. And so she came up and purchased a uh, Armada Platinum, and she loves that car uh, to death. She's just a, a great ride. And we have, of course, the Titan truck is a, a great seller over there. And we have the Frontier that has been a mainstay seller for all these years. And uh, in, in the Ultima brand, that Ultima has been our prized possession. We, we sell more Ultimas than any Nissan uh, product that we have over there. And it has a lot to do with the gas mileage that it gets. And so when you get 38 miles to a gallon of a car that size, it's, that's pretty good gas mileage. Well, and it's a good car, good price. Um, so just, just a good moderate, good fit for everything. Just above that, I believe, would be the Maxima. It is. That Maxima is a, is, is a little bit sportier and uh, has a great ride, a lot more horsepower. Matter of fact, two of the best driving automobiles on the highway is that Maxima and the Armada. Now, Armada is a little a, a crossover, bigger than the uh, Road, not quite as big as the Armada, but it is uh, one of the sweetest riding automobiles you'll have on the highway, and, along with the, the Maxima. And, and Locke, what do you have maybe for the, the high school student or somebody, maybe a first car? Um, want something affordable, a uh, little more economical, how would Nissan? Well, we, we have the uh, Versa, which is a, a small uh, economical car. Then we have the Sentra, and both of them are nice automobiles. But what we like about them, they're real safe cars. I mean, they have all the crumple zones and the airbags and, uh, you know, anything you want on a car. But yep, they're, they're, it's an entry level that young people can get in. Or if you just need a second car around the house, it's a and good car. great gas mileage. And great gas again. mileage, right. so, so one more thing here, Locke, and we'll, we'll take another commercial break, and I've got some more, more questions I want to ask you about some people that you work with and, and different people that impact all the things you do here. Um, but something else I enjoy doing when I'm riding through town, you guys always have a great selection of used cars out here. you got got two beautiful ones sitting right on the end out here now that I was checking out before we came in. So talk to me a little bit about your used car selection. And again, a little bit about the process. Maybe if somebody's looking for something and you don't have it on the lot, how, how do you address that? Well, we, we keep over 400 cars in stock, new and used, and over 100 used cars we keep in stock. And we try to keep a good array of used products out there because people Everybody has different likes and try I mean, to keep them. Everybody doesn't want to come out or that. <laughs> and we keep them all on the front line so when you ride by, you can see them. But our motto, if you want something, we'll get it. It doesn't matter. We'll get on the, get on the horn and we'll call all over and we'll find you the car you like. And we, we own, our, our management company owns 12 dealerships. So if we don't have it here, we call around and check, go on their inventory and find it. We can get it in here in a matter of a day. Absolutely. And, and again, uh, Locke, I want to say thank you for your, your service in the community and, and for what you guys are doing here. Um, got a few more questions I want to follow up with you on. We're going to take one last commercial break and we'll be right back. This stop was put in the main four-way intersection on April 24th of this year. If I'm not mistaken, we had two fatalities in 2018 in this intersection. And so far this year, we haven't had any and we're hoping this is going to alleviate that problem. Complete stop is a total cessation of movement. That means you are at a dead stop. You're not still rolling, you are stopped. The wheels are no longer turning on that vehicle. That is a stop. Welcome back again, Locke. Uh, appreciate you sitting down and, and taking some time. I always love to come down it's and, been sit fun. and chat with you just <laughs> a little bit. Um, one of the other things I, I love, Locke, a lot of times when I get to see you, I get to see another very dear friend, um, and, uh, and you've got a great, great if anybody's got a great supporting cast around them um, you are certainly blessed with with that cast of folks but uh, one person maybe more so than than all the rest of the team that's near and dear to, to you to us at the chamber and, and in this community um, is your wife Elaine well thank you Heath she is a, a great team player she's been a great supporter of what we do here she's involved in everything we do down here at the dealership we put on an event. She's the one that handles the event, and uh, that's coming up pretty soon. It is business after hours in July, and uh, she'll she'll stage the whole thing. And she's been a great supporter. Uh, needless to say, she makes me look real good in more ways than one. <laughs> you know, so she's been a a great help me to me. There's nothing like having a uh, a family that 
works together, and Elaine's been a vital part, just not only to our family, but to my business ventures and a great supporter. She loves Dublin. She's originally from Vidalia, Georgia, so she's a, a local girl. She's tried to make a bulldog out of me. She <laughs> hadn't quite done it, but I do pull for the dogs when they're not playing my team. I got you. Okay. And, and I want to say thank you as, as well you, for you allowing her to work with us even as much as she does and, and for her efforts and energy. Uh, our annual dinner is a huge event for us and, and Elaine plays a huge role in helping um, with all the decorations and, and the theme that we bring into that. So, um, but outside of Elaine also, and I know because I'm up here quite often, I come by and, and just stop and visit and, and in and out. Um, your staff here, wh whether it's Henrietta or Don or any of the other folks here, um, they get me in, they get me out, and, and anything that I ever need, they take good care of me as I'm sure they do all of your customers here. Well, Wallace Miller told me just yesterday, he says, Locke, I outsell them because I outservice them. And we realize that just selling a car is not the job, it's servicing that customer after they buy the car. And my staff does a tremendous job. Our staff does a tremendous job in what they do. Don Carswell has been in this town for over 10 years, and he's been a vital part of what we tried to get a, uh, get accomplished here. And Henrietta is a, just a, a staple in the staple community. In the community. <laughs> Everybody knows Henry. Matter of fact, I refer to Henry as my day wife. She, <laughs> she keeps me straight, and, uh, and, uh, I, and my night wife is Elaine. And uh, Henry, she, she's down here. And I like Henrietta quite a bit because she makes me money. Elaine spends the money. <laughs> <laughs> but Henrietta is just a great team. We have Antonio on the Chevy mm -hmm. side is our uh, Chevy manager. We have Jimmy Taylor on the Nissan side. Mm -hmm. He's our Nissan manager. We have Al Johnson, who's our finance manager, and Will, finance manager here. We have Brian down at the outlet store, Dublin Auto Outlet store down in the old Frank Andrews building where we sell down there. We have new and used down there. And so we have three locations in reality to get the job done. But, you know, I always tell everybody, you know, if, if something goes wrong, always let me know. And I'm always available. Mm -hmm. You can come see me. I'm approachable. And if there's something wrong, and we'll, we'll straighten it out and make you happy. So whether it's the outlet store, the Chevrolet side, the Nissan side, same great customer service, same great variety in, in, in vehicles and, and service after the sale. It's that way. To the girls that work in the office that do all the paperwork and the accounting, they do a fantastic job. To our service technicians in the back that work on the cars, to our service advisors, our parts managers, our body shop manager, uh, to the guys in the, in the wash bay that wash your car when you get, get it serviced we run it through there matter of fact we tell our customers if you have a, you want to get your car wash just bring it by we'll wash it for and, you we have a car you do. Absolutely. Yeah, we do you don't have yes. to go across the street and spend money you just get it washed for free so we try to we try to give service that we need and uh, that people need in this community to make them realize that we're we're here to service them and, and i know you do that lock i know stories of people having collisions or cars broken down or a flat tire or whatever else and you guys sending folks out to, to pick up their car to take care of them to, to provide a car for them to drive and, and so again thank you for being the, the community team player that you guys are here at Dublin Chevrolet and Nissan. Uh, always like to close the show lock by allowing our guests just a minute to, to Give a commercial. Let's do that Tudoronomy verse there, and 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 you look into that camera. Toot the tell, horn, huh? Tell folks why they need to come down here and, and see you at Dublin Chevrolet Nissan. Well, we do have a great array of cars that you can choose from: cars, trucks, SUVs, sporty cars, and uh, we've always tried to make people happy with their purchase. We try to make the purchase experience a, a pleasant one, and so here in at Dublin Chevrolet Buick GMC, we'd like for you to come see us. My motto is we're the only dealer you will ever need. Locke, thank you again. We appreciate you. Thank you, Helping Heath. us make it today and every day a great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County.